one interesting way to explore the standard model is to look at your uh, fun, nuanced disagreement with Carlo Ravelli. <laughs> <laughs> when you talked about him writing in his book, electrons don't always exist. They exist when they interact. They materialize in a place when they collide with something else. And you wrote that, well, I'll just read the whole thing because it's, it's kind of interesting. Stocks may not achieve a precise value until they are traded, but that doesn't mean we can't approximate their worth until they change hands. Similarly, electrons might not have definite properties, but they do exist. It's true that the electron doesn't exist as a classical object with definite position until the position is measured, but something was there which physicists use a wave function to describe. It's a fascinating nuanced disagreement. So do electrons always exist or not? Does it does a tree fall in the forest if nobody's there to see it? So I like to think of the universe as being out there whether or not. I mean, it would be really weird if the only time things came into existence was when I saw them or I measured them. There's a lot I of mean, weird stuff. In I mean, universe. I could believe that the Middle East doesn't exist because I'm not there now. Yeah. I mean, that would be kind of ridiculous. I think we would all agree on that. So I think there's only so much that we can attribute to our own powers of seeing. So, and the whole system doesn't come into being because I'm measuring it. And so what is weird, and this isn't even a disagreement about the standard model, this is a disagreement about how you interpret quantum mechanics. I mean, I would say that those wave functions are real. I mean, one of the things that, don't forget, that particle physics does that quantum field theory says is that electrons can be created and destroyed. It's, th it's not that every electron has to be in the universe. I mean, there can be. I mean, that's what happens at colliders. Particles get created and destroyed. Um, but that doesn't mean that if I have an electron in an atom, it's not there. It's certainly there, and we know about it. It's, its charge is there. So physics is a kind of way to see the world. So what, what, what the, at the bottom, what's the bottom turtle? Like what, do you have a sense that there's a bottom reality that we're trying to approximate with physics? I think we always have in our head maybe that we'd like to find that, but I have to, I mean, I might not seem so, but I think I'm kind of more humble than a lot of physicists. I'm not sure that we're ever gonna get to that bottom level, but I do think we're going to keep penetrating different layers and get further. I just wonder how far away we are, you know? We all wonder that. Um, it's not even, like, what's even the measure of how far away we are? I mean, one way you can measure it is just by our everyday lives. In terms of our everyday lives, we've measured everything. In terms of what underlies it, there's a lot more to see. And so part of it has to do with how far we think we can go. I mean, it might be that the nature of reality changes so much that even these terms are, are different. Maybe we'll measure, you know, this, the notion of distance itself might break down at some point.